So I think I was in the sixth, fifth or sixth grade and I used to be on the swim team and I was really, really fit back then. And now I'm not because all I do is gaming. But that's besides the point. Anyways, so there, I used to have to wake up at six or seven in the morning and it was really, really hard because I am not a morning person. I wake up at like one o'clock and I am just still really tired. But anyways, that was even me back then, so. Not much has changed besides the way I look. So anyways, we'd have to get up in the morning, go drive over there, we'd have to get there parking early because there was obviously no parking there because there were a bunch of people, several hundred people there. Just because it's a swim meet doesn't mean that there are not gonna be a bunch of people. But whenever I'd go to these meets on Saturdays, it would be packed and you'd have to sit next to people. Like literally you were like shoulder to shoulder with some people and the swimming meet I was at, at our home, when it was home, Normally, you wouldn't see many people there because they would go and leave because maybe they picked only freestyle or they only picked backstroke. So, you know, people would go and leave all the time and whatnot and you'd always, you know, be cramped in because the, the booths had to take up so much because of the judges and whatnot. I think I was already in my second year of swimming and there was this kid who went to my school and he was a really nice yet kind of creepy kid. He would just be sitting in the corner over there looking at you if you're doing schoolwork. And I was like, okay, I'll just leave you be. You don't talk to me. I don't talk to you. We'll be good friends. But we'll be friends who don't talk. <laughs> so one of the swim meets, I think it was maybe around the third swim, swim meet of that season, I went and I was getting ready to go to the bathroom to go change into my swimsuit because I was obviously not ready at the time and I was just everywhere because I had woken up late that morning and what happened happened. So I come out and I see him roaming through my bags and stuff and my parents were obviously there but one of my parents was uh, going to park the car and my other was uh, going to get food because I always like to eat after once I'm done swimming and you get very tired and you consistently want water because like you're sweating but it's like in the pool i know gross so the kid was roaming through my bags and he would pull out some things and he'd check like left and right to see if there was anyone looking at him and i noticed so i st <laughs> i hid from like him and i would just sit and just watch whatever he was doing he was doing and I, I was freaked out. I legit was freaked out. I didn't know what to do. I was like, do I go over to him? Do I not? And my mom started coming back and I'm like, hey, mom, let's go check out the, the numbers that I just did or what. I don't know what I was doing. I think I think we we're going to check out the numbers of my friend because she had just recently uh, done the race, um, the relay race. There's They have relay races before. It's kind of like warm up. Um, you could also warm up in the beginning. So I had my mom go check out the things and I'm like, kid, you better get out of here and not look through my bags. So he's, he's so I think like that's the kind of glare I gave him because I was like, what do like, you know, what are you supposed to do? If some random like kid you hardly even know is roaming through your bag looking at all your swim stuff. And it, it was just so awkward. And thankfully, I didn't have any like underwear in there or like I don't even know if I had boobs back then I like that was the first time that ever happened but second time I just got out of the pool and I was going back to put my parka back on if you guys know what a parka is it's something you wear like once you're done swimming um it's normally after meat like you you just wear it. it's really heavy and it keeps you warm if you're like if it's freezing cold out because these things were in the morning so you would be freezing cold once you get out of the pool because the pool is like warm and you're like oh my god this is so nice but that's probably because the amount of pee that's in there and just because they heated the pool before i don't know i don't know why it's i think it may have been like towards the end of that year of the swim meet the same year and i was getting out of the pool i was getting i was putting my parka on and it, he when i go when i went to go sit down he was sitting next to me like staring right into my eyes and i was just not wanting to look at him at all i was so freaked out because prior to that he would just always like watch from a like watch from really far away and when i was going into like when i was getting ready to jump in or whatever into the pool off the board i would see him out of the corner of my eye watching me and i don't know if this kid had a crush on me or I didn't know if he was just trying to be freaky, but it was super scary and I didn't like it. So I think that same year, I think I just decided to not do swimming anymore just because that kid was so freaky. But little did I realize that we were gonna go to the same high school. So I planned to do swimming there because I just, you know, like at that time I wanted to do like, you know, cause then eighth grade passed, like 
6, 7, or no, it was like, yeah, 6th through 8th grade, I didn't do swimming at all. And then when I got to high school, I was like, okay, I want to swim because I love swimming, but I like to swim free. You might know that reference. But anyways, so when I got to high school, I, like, for my first, like, few months of high school before I got sick, um, I, I, I was, we were in the same PE class, and I was freaked out as heck. So... I was like, okay, I hope the boys swim over there and the girls swim over there. So we all had to take a um, boys and girls test together for seeing how fast we could swim and whatnot. We had like really weird swimming things, swimming classes. But anyways, so I was the first girl to go up. He was the second, he was like the guy next to me going up, but he was on the other end of the swimming pool because it was like, like split. So it wouldn't be so awkward for the girls and guys. So we both jumped in the same time, but I just like literally sped off because I didn't want to see him when I was done and I come back and I'm just I get out of the pool and I run to the changing room because I just didn't want to see him and after that class I never saw him again I didn't tell my parents ever about this because I was like ah it's probably nothing but no it was something it was something so if you got a stock on your hands confront them and then you get to punch them if it's a guy just punch him in the nuts if it's a girl just slap her probably no I don't actually slap don't do anything don't harm anyone <laughs> but anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed this uh uh, story time this was a very weird one to tell because i didn't know what exactly i should and shouldn't say i didn't give out the guy's name i didn't want to give out too much information it was just very awkward throughout that entire time but anyways i will talk to you guys on the next video hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you guys in the next video bye Make us feel as fast as a letter. He can be no contrast to a vive. Free so free that you'll talk me come out. Or a touch in a brand new book. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no,